The power cord with protector is a 3-wire, 16-gauge cord that has the cord protector molded onto it. Power cords tend to receive a lot of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing half of the rear handle. Next, I'll remove the screw that secures the switch. Now I'll remove the black wire from the cord where it attaches to the switch. Now I'll remove the crimp connection that secures the two white wires. As I cut off one of these crimp connectors, I like to cut up inside the connector so I lose as little wire as possible. Now I'll remove the grounding wire. And the strain relief. and the cord will now come free. You'll notice the wire leads on the new cord are a little long, so I'll use the old cord as a guide to cut the new wires to length. I'll start with the white wire. Then the black. and finally the ground wire. Now I'll finish prepping the wires. The white wire just needs about a quarter to three eighths inch of insulation stripped off of it. The black wire, I'll strip off about a quarter inch of insulation and install a new eyelet. And same with the green wire. I'll strip off a quarter inch of insulation and install an eyelet. I'll also strip back a little more of the insulation on the white wire inside the belt sander, so I have about 3 eighths of an inch exposed. Now I can begin reinstalling the new cord. I'll place the strain relief into the opening on the handle and I'll replace the wire clamp.
Next, I'll bring the two white wires together and twist the bare ends. And I'll secure these with a new crimp connector. Now install the black wire back onto the switch. I'll reinstall the grounding wire. And now I can place the switch back into the housing and tuck all the wires out of the way. Secure the switch with the screw. And with all the wires tucked out of the way, now I can reinstall the half of the handle. And I'll resecure the handle with the screws. These two screws here and here have the fine threads as these go into the metal portion of the housing. and the remaining screws are the plastic type threads. And that's all it takes to install a new power cord and protector on your power tools.